Hello YouTubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the master of hoppets, looking at classic German beer styles. We're looking at a Rauchbier today. So I reviewed pretty much all the brewery beers from this brewery that they produce in bottle. And they got an OD that was on tap only before out in bottles now. So we're reviewing it. So this guys is another Echtschling Heller Bier or Brauerei Heller Bier from Bamberg. I visited the facility last year, I had a great time in Bamberg. If you want to check that out, check out my Bamberg beer to a video. But this guys is the Echt Schlenkerler Rauchbier Kreusen. Uh, or Krausen, uh, I guess you'd say in English, Krausen. But this is one of the releases that Schlenkerler or Brauerei Heller has been doing for years. Uh, and it's been released for the summer months usually, but it's just never been bottled. But they decided to do it for the first time this year. Uh, so that's really cool. I mean, uh, it's it's always nice that breweries have exclusives, especially like with the brewery release only with a lot of the German traditional beers. But I'm glad that it came up here so I could review another Echtling uh, Beer for you. I actually, once in a while, I will order beer from the web shop uh, by the case to stick in the cellar for some time. I actually think I might this year review some aged Urbach and Oak Smoke. Uh, Eiche. But we'll see. It depends on you guys if you want to see some uh, smoky beer. You maybe a battle beers. That could be fun. But, or versus beers. But this, guys, is the Kreuzen, as I said. And this is uh, a beer that they've been doing for a long time. It's the more, a more sessionable Auch beer from them. The Märzen is 5 point something, but this is, I think it's 5.2 or 5.5. But this is 4.5% alcohol. So the whole name actually just refers to the Krausen in the brewing process where you have the foam in, in, the, in the tank uh, on, creeping on the walls during fermentation. It's just referen referencing that. And actually I think a lot of uh, modern breweries when they do like New England IPAs actually dry hop at high Krausen during the fermentation. But this is a beer then that's uh, named after this process because they take the beer uh, that is just finished with the Krausen also known as green beer and mix it with aged beer. So they pretty much take fresh, super fresh young beer, blend it with their already lagered beer that they store in their cellars, in their beer kettles, and then they release this as a more easygoing auch beer that is not as full on as like the Märzen and Urbach and whatnot. So it's a bit more easy drinkable. Um, so I think, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. And I tried, well, the head is already gone now, but let's see if we can do it. It's always what I like to do when I get these lagers sometimes, it's like doing the slow pour. And then you get that super nice big pillowy head that just billows out of on like out of the glass. Like let's see if we can do it with the last part here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See just creeping up. Well, the glass is completely full. I'm doing like uh, real ale craft beer right now, filling the glass right to the top so you can't smell it. But it looked gorgeous when I uh, took the picture at least. Oh, you can see a bit there forming on top. That's a sign of a very well brewed lager. So this is unfiltered as well. As you see, we got some haze on there. It's probably a bit hard to see on camera. And in real life, it's much more orange in color. On camera, it presents itself as a very like dark copper beer, um, but it's like golden orange. It looks very nice in the glass. I feel way too much in, but hey, let's check out the aroma. See if we can <laughs> with all this beer. Oh. I love Rauchbier so much. I really don't, I think it's because people don't like that it smells like meat. I think that's why they don't like it. So that's a big characteristic of the traditional Rauchbier from Germany. It's the smoked malt, they smoke the barley malt. So you get this smoky, smoked bacon, cured meat, uh, smoked sausage aroma. And I've really been thinking about like when you rest some of your barbecue meats or when you baste some of your barbecue meats, because I've been doing a lot of barbecue in the summer. Why not use something like this? That'd be so fun. I need to try that. Maybe that's a cooking and beer episode. Like just being total non-traditional and like do brisket and then uh, when you wrap it, pour in a bit of Rauchbier, that could be kind of fun. <laughs> but, um, yeah, or having Rauchbier underneath in your, instead of a water pan. But yeah, it smells really good. Smoked cured meat, barbecue escamoma, and there's sweet malt. It's not as full on on the smoke as the Märzen or the, uh, like the Urbach, for example, from Schlenkerla, but it just, it puts a smile on my face. It just it reminds me of sitting in Bamberg in great summer weather drinking beers like this. I actually drank it there last summer and just enjoying the atmosphere and just enjoying like real beer history. I mean, this is, it's 
smells great. There's some sweet maltiness underneath. The freshness of the fresh beer is there. The young beer with a bit of a hop sing, like a grassy hop sing. Let's just give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Thanks a ton to Michael. Just Michael. He actually gave me this because he was there this summer. But cheers. Let's check it out. Oh, that is so refreshing. A lot of people, they will drink a bottle or half a bottle or something and say that's enough. I could easily session this. It is like the most drinkable example you'll find of a Rauch beer. The Helles they do at Schlinkala is also very drinkable, really sessionable, but it's not made with a smoked malt. The smoky flavor you get in that is purely the reuse of yeast. Or that they, they're, they're house yeast. But man, this is just such a refreshing and enjoyable beer. Super nice kiss of smoke. It's there and it's definitely presenting itself, but it's not overdone. It's this cured meat, it's this smoked meat kind of thing, barbecue, the smell of barbecue, just like purely smoked meat, bacon, sausage, super nice meaty smoke. Then you get like a, like a juicy, malty, like um, chewy, malty, car slightly caramel-esque flavor, just like biting into fresh, fresh malt, so like a fresh bag of like Munich malt or something. Um, and surprisingly, like, Big mouthfeel for a 4.5% beer. Hmm? Super slick and coating. And then it dries out, making you go in for another sip. It dries out with this like grassy, green, slightly green or er herbal hop bite. And this makes you go in for another sip. This is actually what I would think of as a session of beer. Actually, now I wonder if they have more on the web shop. This is something I would love to have a case of sitting at home. I just love these smoked beers. Mm, that is good, that is real good. It's not my favorite beer from Schlenkerla, Hella, but it's a fun little hybrid of, of like super classic smoked beer, but also some kind of more, more traditional classic lager beer tendencies. It's almost like you, you, like with the haze and everything, it's almost like Kella, Beer in a sense of smoked beer, if you could say it like that, because you know that's also pulled from the tank while it's still hazy and everything. Uh, and it's usually also a bit more hoppy, which is also the case of this. It's more hoppy than the other offerings from, from Schlenkerla. But yeah, I need to come back and visit Bamberg, but this is great. Mm. Straight 90 for me. I love these beers. I could drink it all day. It even has a hint of floral element to it, which is quite interesting. The more I'm drinking on it, the more I'm getting that, and the more I'm getting like slight fruity esters from the yeast. They just got this stuff nailed down to a freaking science making this beer, man. Oh, it's it's really awesome to drink some great traditional beer once in a while like this. Uh, that just tastes like how it's supposed to taste. It's been tasting like for 100, year, 100 years, and even more than that, and it's just been like, it's just done to perfection which is just amazing. It is great. I wish I had more bottles of this. <laughs> but if you guys had a chance to try the Echtschlenkerle Rauchbier Kreuzen, or Kreuzen, let me know what you think of it. I think it's nice. It's not my favorite, as I said. It's probably Wubak or Oak Smoke or Eichsleich Eiche. That's what they call it in Germany. But hey, we'll see. Maybe I do a battle beers later on this year. Uh, so, or versus beers, but if you guys had a chance to try the Kausen, let me know what you thought of it. If you've never been to Bamberg as a beer city and want to explore traditional beer, it's a must visit. Uh, and yeah, guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page on Twitter and Instagram, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Sorry for the length on such a traditional beer, but I rambled on about my love for our beer in this one. But hope you guys understand. Thanks a ton to Michael for the bottle, and we'll say cheers, and see you guys in another beer review.